What's up guys, my name's Dean, or as most of you know me, Twisty, and today we're continuing our career mode with Mantagaz, and now I have gone through and correctly linked uh, all of those teams we downloaded from last time. I'm assuming they all, they all look right at the moment. Anyway, it's the Thunder and the Hurricanes. Let's do it. I guess you guys will be slightly more excited by the fact that we are using... Mm, like more stadiums or like you know properish stadiums properish kits so get excited for that anyway we're batting at 11 didn't really get a bat gonna get a bowl hope we do all right with it Mandigaza looks good in the uh, in the purple does look very nice cool catch that ball Ooh. Oh, we could have snagged an early one. Gee, they only need 81 from 82. Because they are off to a flyer in that power play, making about 50 runs. Which is... Jassy's actually rated way higher than our, like, men's player. Wow, that's a good shot. That's six. No stopping that. That is almost out of here. 114 meters. I think that's the biggest six I've seen hit. I didn't actually release the ball. When I wanted to. Oh, they're going to go for a single down here. But we are bowling quite nicely. Just got to make sure they don't hit a boundary. Like they did off that last over. As that can then kill the entire momentum of the over. Just the one boundary is all they need. Oh, a bit of turn there for Chas. They might pick up two. I think they're just going to take the one though. And again, if we can keep this last ball the over quiet, that's a win for us. Well, she's gone down the wicket. It's gone straight to the fielder. Run out opportunity, but no, that's good. Just three from the over. As I said, this is the thing with defending such a small total, is that the moment you get a boundary off the over, it makes it really hard to defend for the remainder of the over because you know you've already gone well over your allowance of runs like that I mean that's already not like nine off the over and of course they're gonna get home yes now good next round we're on to the strikers this time at B -b -b bloodstone arena I can't quite recall if um, do the, the women play more matches in the women's Big Bash? Or does it just go quicker? It just feels like they always play a few more matches because it starts earlier than the men's. And so it seems like it's always on. Yeah, so they do play 14 matches. So they play each other twice. I did, uh, did get that right. Just check now. That's pretty good. And it was pretty close too. Like between... Uh, First and seventh, there was only a three-win gap, so very close. Now we bowled all right uh, throughout a couple of the other matches in this big bash. Now what can we do today? Once again, defending not oh, it's a pretty decent total, one sixty something. It's a pretty decent defendable total here, uh, and we've got none for sixty-one. So oh, that one just bobbled up a little bit. Thought it might have been a chance. All kinds. Of, that person has two hundreds to their name in the T twenty format. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, nice. But I think this uh, this is a critical T twenty competition for us because we are, I guess, trying to push for not only selection here but selection interstate or overseas as well. That's very close to the outside edge. But yeah, pushing for a selection in an overseas competition like the IPL, like the Zimbabwe PL or whatever it's called. And that's a wicket, I reckon. Yes, it is. Mandagaza takes it. So this is what I'm talking about. We're trying to push for selection. Tamsin McDonald's going for 36. Full wicket at one for 62. Very nice. Whoa. Harder than you, or that we've taken another wicket. So, as they say, one brings two, and one did bring two wickets in this instance. But can it maybe even nab three for chastity? Dot ball again. It's always hard to find out where to bowl, or like you know, especially the field, because you're looking at and you've got this massive field on that, or like massive gap on the leg side. You just bowl it 
sort of wide outside uh, the off stump. Oh, they wanted a run there. There was no run there at all. Try and flight this one outside the off stump, maybe a little bit further outside the off stump than normal. So they can't exactly play leg sided. And again, one off the over. Two overs, one for two. Yeah, that is it. Nab the outside edge this time, Chas. And the wicket falls. Mona Carter gone for nine. Just thinking if we can bowl it in the right areas, they're going to create a wicket. And it looks like that's exactly what we've done right here. Have a look at this. Just some turn about it with the edge. Great keeping as well, by the way. Really good take. Two for two, Managaza. Oh, I thought there was a fielder there as well. Could have been my third wicket. The wicket. Another dot ball. This is some solid bowling by Chas. I mean, you've you've uh, established yourself as a pretty solid bowler in uh, in maybe the one day formats. Can you do it again in the T20s? And that's what we're looking to do here. Oh, I thought I would let the direct throw at the stumps have a go, but it's going to be four overthrows. Oh, that's in the air. There's a fielder down there. And another wicket for Mantegaza. She's got three. It means a lot. Four for 87. Samantha Thompson gone for 15. Mantegaza with three wickets. Three for seven, I think. My goodness. I got one over left. We bowl on a Kasoon who's only faced that one delivery from us. We're the deuce right. How will she fare with that one? Gee, that's good. No overthrows this time. I mean, this is still my best uh, bowling figures. For me, together. Three for, what, 15? I think three for 25 is our previous best. But uh, pretty good bowling in the end. So I'm together. Is it going to be enough to get us over the line? It is. Manda Gaza, player of the match. Three for 14 from four overs. Just force the strikers into some disarray. So there we go. Can you take a look there? Player of the match. Will that earn us any, uh, any even further ratings with even the Australian team, maybe? So we're playing against the Scorchers here in a do or die... Oh, I was going to say do or die clash, but it's really not. Uh, Australian T20s. What are we looking at here? We are one game behind first. We're three of the last five, the last two back-to-back. -back. Coming up against... Um, Oh yeah, we've still got we've still got like half the season to go, so we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Our selection status: we are no real chance at all at getting picked for Australian representation, but we are actually looking to get selected for T20s around the world. Whether that be, you know, in uh, the the IPL women's or the New Zealand. Premier League, the Pakistani Premier Plate, the South African T20s, uh, and even the Caribbean Cricket Cup, and then uh, maybe playing some uh, longer form in the cricket stuff, or is that e cricket T20s as well? No idea. Because there, oh, there is no like long form stuff apart from Test matches, right? In women's, I don't think. Anyway, we'll play uh, play on the match here with the Wacker against the Scorchers. Another reasonably big game here today, because uh, a win would sort of see us a game and a bit clear inside that top four. And of course, you need to be in that top four to make the finals here. So we've got Bates given the bowling. We are not going to get a bat at all once again. Just uh, stuck, stuck at number 11, really. But our best bowling of three for seven was not what we bowled last time. Oh, okay, so it's... Three for seven, not seven for three. But we even, we bowled three for, th yeah, that's not what we bowled last time, but okay. Let's take some more wickets. Just confusion everywhere, really. Oh. Went to sweep, played pretty well. It's going to go for a boundary. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to go for two. Clueless. Clueless. 
Oh, that's out, surely. Oh, it's into the gap. It's four. Oh, no. This is a horrendous over. Giving the Scorchers the biggest sniff ever. Getting them right back into it. 11 from the over. Not ideal. We just sort of lost concentration for a moment. 33 from 18. We've got none for 20 from our three. This has to be the over we snag the wickets. Just the one. Anyway, they picked up a three with that last delivery. I mean, we should probably just change the field around a little bit. Oh, is there a fielder down there? There is. So it's just the one. Just the one. At this stage, keeping them to a runner ball is his best case. Or oh, he's, you know, pretty good as well. Dots are better. They need 28 from 14. That's in the area. <laughs> another boundary and another boundary 20 needed from just 12 I've had a fantastic game and I've had a dreadful game oh no 20 from 12 needed that's in there that's four. Oh, and they've just absolutely found the boundary every time here it's a great way to start the over 16 off 11 needed don't know what I'm doing here in this fielding position. I'm not saving a lot. That's a single. And a boundary. Geez, so not be bowling this next over. 11 from 9. They're like, we're in not position A. What, what's the opposite of that? Position B. That's in the air. That's another boundary. Bliss with a blissful shot. And already 13 runs this over. Change the field, please. Oh, get it. Get it. Okay. Seven from six. Can, can this field change I've put in be enough? I've consulted with the captain and said, look, we've got to change this field. It had to be done. Six needed from five. Or from six. Oh, I think... Final over. Throw it to bowl. Six off six. Dot ball. Beautiful. So look, if I press start and I go to match tactics, I can't edit the field because I'm not the captain. But if I press the this middle button here, I can edit the field. Just a note for people. And it's a single. Five from four. Come on. Oh, it's in the air. It's going to be a one again. Three from two. This is tense. The fielding this last few moments has been pretty good. My biggest concern is the gap down here. I'm going to move uh, whoever's a deep third man to come in. Because if they get it through that leg side and it's not a single, if it goes for four, that's game over. It's a dot ball. This could be the opening we needed. Three off the last ball. I know it's a three off the zero, but three off the last ball needed. Two would be a draw. And we'd go to a super over. And she's blocked it. And the Hurricanes have won. Oh my goodness. Two run victory. You cannot script this. Anyway guys, I think that is going to be it for today. We've done pretty well. In, uh, in the first game, managed to get the win in the end in that next match and we're just going to continue with the t20s uh come the next episode but we are now sitting atop the table how do we have extra points oh we have a bonus point as well ah i don't know how the bonus points work in the t20 competition but anyway we have a bonus point so uh leave a big thumbs up do that 
and uh, if you are enjoying the series and keen to see it continue, and I'll see you guys later.